What to do with an old computer you've been given. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com, where I've been answering your questions and giving tech advice since 2003. So I recently received in exchange for giving somebody a Chromebook, uh, their old computer. This is not uncommon. This happens to me all the time. I'll help somebody with their new computer and they'll give me their old computer to do something with in return. They want to dispose of it properly and, and I you know, have the techniques, the tools and techniques to do that. What are those? Well, here are the steps that I go through when I get an old computer. The very first thing I do, and it's not obvious at all, is I actually take an image backup of the machine if I can. The reason is simple. I want to be able to say, yeah, I've still got your stuff if they change their mind or if they realize that there was something on the old computer that they had forgotten. Remember, I'm on a path to potentially give away or destroy the actual hardware. But if I can keep an image backup of their hard disk, at least for a few years, that way there's this additional safety net in case they change their mind or in case they realize that there was something there that they'd forgotten about. Then. I will exactly erase that hard disk. I'll either do it by installing an operating system on top of it, or I'll use a tool like DBAN to thoroughly and securely erase everything that's on that hard drive. If it's a working machine, I'll try and repurpose it. I do have a couple of old machines here that are filling new roles. Uh, for an older machine, that usually means putting a, an instance of Linux or something else on it. But if the machine is at all usable, I'll try and find a way that, that machine can be reused. If the machine is broken, but the hard drive is still working, then I'll consider actually taking out the hard drive. If it's large enough, Right now, that means about one terabyte or bigger. If it's large enough, I'll consider throwing it into an external drive enclosure so that that hard disk becomes an external drive that I can use on any machine or that I can give to somebody else to use on their machine. Finally, if the machine is well and truly broken and there's no hope for it, uh, if I wasn't able to erase the hard disk, well, I'll probably try and physically destroy it. I have a collection of drives that are in that state that are waiting for me to get out the drill press or a hammer or something that will destroy the drive. For the record, a strong magnet is not enough. Strong magnets surprise, do surprisingly little damage to current hard drives. So you really want to do something physical to a hard drive that isn't working to ensure that the data cannot be retrieved. Then I will try to find a responsible way to recycle and dispose of the electronics in the machine. You'll notice that there's one thing I didn't do, and that is I don't try to keep the installed operating system. There's a few reasons for that. The biggest one is security. I honestly don't know what's on that machine and I don't care to find out. Uh, I've gotten a piece of hardware. I don't want to inherit any problems that happen to be installed on that machine. Privacy. Um, even though I did take an image backup of the machine, that's one file I keep in a special place for their privacy. If I were to start using the installed operating system or if I were to repurpose the machine without reinstalling the operating system, then there could be traces of their information no matter what I do. And that's not something I want to risk either. It's also possible that transferring ownership of the operating system might not be legal. It depends on the terms of service that accompanied the original installation of the operating system. For many installations of Windows, it's actually licensed only to the original owner on the original hardware. Attempts to transfer to another owner are technically illegal. Of course, that's not the case for things like Linux and so forth, but it's not something that, for the other reasons, I care to play around with. And finally, cleanliness. A reformat and reinstall of the operating system, any operating system, is the best way to guarantee you've got the machine, especially an older machine, running as best as it possibly can. You're only installing those things you need and not living with everything that maybe happened to be pre-installed. So a reinstall really is what I want. But for 
those reasons and probably some others, using the existing operating system on the machine is just not something I do and it's not something I advise. Hope that was helpful. For links related to the article this is based on or to leave a comment, visit askleo.com slash 123348. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.